<laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to episode number 47 of the Eavesdrop Podcast. Uh, huge apologies. Obviously, we skipped uh, two weeks because of the amount of work that we've been uh, doing over in the energy side and uh, Huntsman and Shock and all the other crazy businesses that we have going on. Guggen Squad. I mean, I can sit here and tell you like a, a, a list of meetings that I've had. Matt. How long have you seen me on the phone at one point? What's the most you've ever seen me on the phone at one point? It was like six, seven hours. Six or seven hours on one phone call. Six, seven, and one? One uh. phone call, bro. One phone call. And then, have you ever seen me travel as much as I've been traveling? No. You've been gone a lot. A lot. Yeah, so I'm canceling all my business trips from here on out. Speaking of business, uh, DoorDash and Muxy Jeans are two sponsors for the podcast. We have a very special guest uh this dude goes way 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 back he just told me that his your first video upload was in 2011 2011 at the age of what uh i guess i was around 11 then yeah. around 11 yeah so you were born in 1990 1999 yeah 1999 is what i was meant to say when <laughs> i said it uh we have uh symphony mason lanier or i guess it's mason symphony lanier cool name are you a, do you sing or where does the symphony come from oh okay so honestly, but it's symphony it's just a well Everyone, they're like, oh, Sim unfunny. They like make oh, fun yeah, of it all yeah. the time. But now, uh, back on Modern Warfare 2, I had like, you know, some XX Quickscoper MLG, yeah. something like that, like some re really bad name. You remember and, it. What was it? Be honest. Uh, no, I, I really don't. Yeah, you do. No, Everyone no. remembers it. Because here's the thing. My parents, they got me a $50 Microsoft gift card, whatever, yeah. so you could change your name. The, yeah. the points, Microsoft yeah, 1600 points. Yeah, Yeah, it was like the $50 one, and I used all those in one day, changing my name over and over and over again, and they found out, I got, they got really mad at me, so I was just changing my name left and right. Why? I, I just, I, I would change it, and then someone would be like, no, this one, and then I would change it, yeah. and then someone just came up with this name, we were just in a game, <laughs> they were just like, what about this one? And I was like, all right, that works. And it used to be Sim Funny with two N's, yeah. now it has an H, but I, I was playing like uh, MLG or whatever, like the- um, Game battles? Yeah, 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 I was doing some of those, and I lost my account, and so I couldn't sign in, so then I just made it with an H, and then that's what, I, that's what I've stuck with for like eight, nine years, something it's like that. It's not bad. I changed my name yesterday for the first time in since 2006 uh, on PlayStation. I went from Optic Hex to Hex Quarters because Hex or Hex was not taken, so I just did Hex Quarters, and uh, and then I I got the Optic Hex account on on a different one, but it was a it was it was a weird change for me. Um, so you were XX. So you you quick scope back in back in the days. Yeah, I did. I did tri trick shots, uh, kill feeds. I did some of that back in the day. And then and you did, uploaded these videos. Yeah, these I sniping some, videos. Yeah, and then um, I think yeah, I uploaded those on one channel and then on another channel. I have some like high kill games, like a hundred kill game or something. I'm like, yo, what's up, guys? Symphony here. <laughs> good, yeah, good times. So uh, that goes to show, though. Have Have you always wanted to be a content creator? Or? Oh, for sure. I mean, I've been playing for a long time. My uh, we were talking about beforehand, but my grandparents got me an Xbox 360 for, uh, for it was a Christmas present, and ever since that day, I was just playing every single day. Boom, 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 right after school, as soon as I got home. Like, I would ride the bus, and I just couldn't wait to get home every day. I was, now, I loved it. Okay, so when did the content create, because, you know, a lot of people play video yeah, games, yeah. but not a lot of kids say, you know what, I want to, actually, nowadays, I bet you a lot of kids want to be, like the number one career choice that yeah. they do is they, they want to be a streamer or, or, or a content creator. I mean, everyone's got Twitch in their name. If you play Fortnite, it's just TTV, Twitch. Is so, that what I mean, TTV means? Yeah. I'm like, such a moron. I stopped, playing, I, stopped playing, uh, I stopped playing Fortnite when buildings started to happen. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's when a lot of people start playing just because the only way to keep up is if you play every day. And like, obviously you're busy. Yeah. You know, all these meetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't be playing all day. So yeah. Of. Unfortunately, because I really like the game. I, I literally fell in love with the game. I got all the pins up there from both uh, E3s. So I got Ooh, the original yeah. E3 pins and then I got the secondary uh, pins from, from Hitch. I have the one of eight. Fortnite llamas up there. That's um, one of my prized possessions. Um, so no, you can't have it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I like those. Uh, any single time I get asked what games you know I play, it's always been Call of Duty. Obviously, is my main game. Uh, Minecraft and then Fortnite is mm -hmm. the only other game that I well Battalion 1944 is the only only other game that I spent more than ten hours playing and wanted to play. Like couldn't wait to get on to play. Mm -hmm. Um, until obviously the skill gap got way too big for me to even compete at that level, and I'd, I'd get too angry, and that's no good for anyone, especially not Maddie. Hey, you might like it now. You know, there's uh, skill-based matchmaking, so skill-based. Yeah, so I, 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 
I could put money on the fact that I'm the best 40 year old gamer out there. Yeah, I could see it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> nasty, especially Call of Duty. Call of Duty, 100. percent All the other games, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, you yeah. got you got to teach me how to play COD. You know, I'm getting into it. I've been playing. I'll play a couple hours of Fortnite, then then get on COD after. What uh? Up. So from you played with Jack yesterday, right? Yeah, I played with Jack yesterday for like four hours, five hours. What did you guys play? Ground War? Uh, was... no, we just two v twos the entire time. We played some Fortnite, got like a couple wins, and then yeah. we switched over. Why? What do you mean? Why two v twos? Oh, it's just fun. Like the I don't know, like gun whatever gun, it's called. Gun game? Yeah, gun gun, gun fight. fight. It's really fun. I played it with Dakotas. Yeah. Hey, Dakotas told me to shout him out. You know, he's the homie. But um Yeah, tell Dakotas to get on the podcast. Stop dodging yeah. me. <laughs> DK never leaves. He's he's going to TwitchCon for once. Uh, but the, yeah, I play DK all the time. He's awesome. He's yeah, yeah. Cool. When is that? N next year? Uh yeah, next year. Because he hasn't gone to like TwitchCon. He doesn't really go to events, so it'd be, yeah. It'd be cool to meet him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, it's I, I like Twitch cons. I just don't like the walking. Like I wore the wrong mm. shoes one year, and I'm like, I'm never coming here again. Yeah, it's a bad experience. I, I, I don't know. I really like going to adventures. I love meeting people. It's yeah. like really fun. I I really enjoy it. Like people always like message me. They're like, Oh, I saw you, but didn't say hi. Like I went to Disneyland with Brooke. Yeah. So many people are like, Oh, I saw you, but didn't want to say anything. I'm just like, Always come to me. I don't care what I'm doing. Yeah. Just say anything. Eating too. Huh. Eating? Oh, eating, dinner, I don't care what it is. Just come up, say what's up. Oh, I have strict rules, bro. No, 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 I have no rules. Come yeah, up anytime. Just come up anytime. Anytime, anywhere, I, I don't care. I, let me finish my food is my, <laughs> is my, my deal. Scumpy's super, like, strict about his yeah. eating, too. He's like, and he, like, the long time ago, there was this one kid just waiting on the wings, just like, and he could see him at the corner of his eye, and I could see the dude. And Scump's eating, he's like, bro, he's like, I just want to finish this. And I'm like, I'm just go fucking take the picture real quick and come back. He's like, no, because then everybody's going to want to do it. And sure enough, he gets up, goes take the picture with the kid. Swarmed. And then swarmed, yeah. bro. And I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, I feel bad now. Yeah. So I ate his fries and shit, waited for him. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's get started with the podcast, man. I, I'm, I'm thank you for coming out. You're you're not too far from here, yeah. Thank which you is for good. Me. Yeah. Anytime your internet goes out, this is the place to be, yeah. bro. Yeah. Hell yeah, we got cool. five setups. I'm not too far, so it's not that bad. How, how long of a drive was it's it? It's like 45 minutes. 45 minutes. That's yeah. like, in Texas. That's a long ass drive. I mean, it could be worse though. It could be worse. It could be worse. That's right. You could live in Houston. And yeah. It would be a far. All drive. I did on the way here just watch watch some podcasts. I watched a couple of them just going through each one, just like trying to figure out, you know. So I'm not yeah. completely. <laughs> I uh, I stayed in the room that you stayed in at the Hundred Thieves house yeah. with all the Asian yeah, 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 uh, yeah. pictures and samurais and all that stuff. Brooke stayed in that room and like the cleaning crew went in there, or not the cleaning crew, the camera crew went in there and they were like, oh, there's some interesting decorations you got because they have they <laughs> some wild pictures mine. in there. Yeah, It's <laughs> like, no, 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 those, those are not mine. Bro. Yeah, um, you left uh, some underwear there. No, I'm, I'm totally I don't know what totally I cleaned everything. Yeah, you... <laughs> no, totally joking. Um, anyway, so who are you today? That's uh, how I like to start my podcast. Who am I today? Uh, as as in what? Answer the question. I mean, I'm a 19 year old streamer. I play video games pretty much every day, all day, like eight to ten hours a day. Um, play Fortnite mainly as my main game. I'm trying to, you know, branch out and do do new things and do content stuff like this because I haven't really done much IRL stuff. And so, like, even we just went to Disneyland, uh, trying like vlogging that, and it's doing really good. So, like, I, I want to do more IRL stuff. Yeah, did you but, vlog the whole thing? Uh, yeah. We, Who edits your stuff? Um, it, his name's Rebug, Sore mm -hmm. Rebug. Uh, he does both mine and Brooks for like the IRL stuff. But, oh, very cool. Yeah. Um, how do you like vlogging in public? Did uh, you do it? I, I I did a little bit, but like I feel like it's a learning experience. Like you can't just go in and instantly be good. I feel like it takes some time, so I feel like my next one will be better and better and better as I move on. Yeah. But it was good. I like it. I don't mind like going. Some in front people, of people do it. I, I still to this day sometimes I uh I, I I'm not comfortable doing it. Yeah. I but the I, this is the thing. This is the thing. The second that I go and I open my camera, for the first ten seconds of me raising this camera to start recording I feel weird, but then something just takes over me, and I'm just like, Psh, you get is, focus in, and you're just all going. I focus on the people watching this, yeah. uh, and that's that's pretty much what it what it uh, what it um what it what it is. But it does it does take me a while. Like first ten seconds is just that little rush of like, oh my god, are people watching? People watching? And then I'm just like, yeah, there's a hundred thousand people watching every single fucking day. Yeah. You better get you better get going on that. So uh, it's not it's not that bad anymore. And we, it was in Disneyland. Yeah, we went to Disneyland. Which, which one? Uh, just the one in California. Disneyland, Disneyland. Not and then World. we went to Universal too. Cool. So How was, was cool. it, Universal? It was good. I feel like the Universal in Florida has like more rides, like yeah. more like roller coasters and stuff. But they've got like this like three D, four D stuff there. Um, at Universal, that was cool. Like the Harry Potter ride, that was really awesome. And is um, it like a like an actual roller coaster? Um, 
well it's all indoors and like screens and yeah. like so you're but like you are you are moving kind of like a roller coaster yeah. but you're not like doing flips and all that okay because I, I want to take my it doesn't matter anyway so you, you play <laughs> Fortnite as your main game yeah. but in the past you say you started playing in Call of Duty Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare Call of Duty like it might have been like some like old Halo game that I started with but what I actually started with was Call of Duty yeah. every single day so you've been playing since 2011 and then well, before that that was my first upload okay your but first upload was first since- started playing was probably like 2008 2009 Something like that. Definitely started pretty early. And what games were those? That the Halo? was like that was like some kind of COD or some early Halo. And then you fast forward in time and you're sitting here with shit. How many like you have two million followers on Instagram. That's yeah, like insane. Two point three on Insta. I think it's like one point seven on Twitch and like I, I don't know how it happened. I was just literally yeah, wild. But but it goes to show though, because what when do you, when do you when did you see that that uptick in your um, in, in okay, the so I streamed on Optocraft a couple times, like way back, mm-hmm. but I never really like, you know, consistently died. I was just like, oh, a couple people want to watch. Because a lot of people thought I was like cheating, and so I would start streaming so I could like show them I yeah, wasn't yeah, cheating, yeah. and then I would still kill them, or like I, would up- I upload some Optocraft videos, they're yeah. like, want to be up, I'm like, look, I'm not cheating, yeah. and I'd bop them. Um, <laughs> but then... Um, so yeah. Optocraft, for those who don't know, it's a server that we had at the at the Optic House, the original Optic House, 6050, Russell Drive, me, Nate Shot, Big Timer, and Ice uh from at the time 360 icons now part of envy um he's he's like the server god he's always helped me with all my server stuff anyway so we did that and it was pretty much a server where you can play mini games on minecraft like minecraft mini games like uh, tnt run uh factions was really big yeah that's what i mainly played with factions yeah. i was like that's pretty much all i played um that was that was the first pc game i played my parents got me a pc and then they realized i was playing like every single day so luckily you know i was lucky enough they got me another pc which was like better they got me it, it was like the best of the time it was like a 4770k with a 780 ti or something and 780 holy yeah shit. it was expensive and like my, my mom was not happy my dad was like listen let's go like have fun and so he got me that and then i just started playing it every single day I, that was my first PC game, like I said, and I would just literally every day after school come on there, have some fun, and then I like slowly worked my way in like the big factions um, on there, and I got pretty good at it. That's what cool. is factions for those who don't know? So factions, like basically, well, it, it got crazier and crazier as it went on, but you basically have to build this huge base with these massive walls, like cobblestone walls, and you have to have water protecting them, and you have to like you'll spend like months building your base, like yeah. literally months grinding every day. And so people can raid your base. You have to go mining to get stuff. Um, you can sell your items in game for other stuff. And it kind of just like, it's just a fun thing where there's like, you know, a bunch of people on one faction and you fight each other. You go PVP in certain areas and stuff like that. Like you go fighting other. So yeah. it's pretty much you build a castle. Other people build their own castles yeah. and you can't break their walls yeah. because it's protected. Yeah. But the only way to get in is by creating like what like and like how do you get you, in you have to create a massive cannon and like over time you know the technology on there gets crazy i don't know yeah. but it just you start knocking down their walls it'll be like 20 walls straight and you just got to shoot through all of them yeah um and then if they realize that you're raiding them then they're going to come fight you and they're going to repair the walls yeah. and then you got to shoot them all down again and so it's it's like it's really hard but it's really fun yeah for a no while i though. bet and and we're talking about minecraft right and everybody uh, understands it. i'm a, a huge minecraft nerd but we're talking about minecraft where you can literally do anything in that game. You can create, like, somehow, some like, who the fuck figured out yeah. how to create a TNT cannon in Minecraft? Mm-hmm. Think about the elements that it needs for, like, water. And then you need to put it in a certain place, and you need to blow one up in order for the water to shoot the other one. Like, who thought of these things is what I want to know. Like, at what point, accidental? What do you, like... I mean, I don't know. It's crazy, because, like... You'll, you'll be in your base and you have to have all these spawners giving you XP so yeah. you have to get all this experience but like Minecraft when you think of it you're just you know you're getting like a stone pickaxe going and getting some iron and building like a small little wooden shack yeah. and then it turns into this crazy thing so I don't know it, it was a lot of fun though like yeah. playing it so ender every pearls day. into the you know they, they open up a, a brick you ender pearl in there you raid all their you loot all their boxes yep. and take everything in everything your... you you destroy everything in there and just ruin what's them. the what's the most that you guys have ever gotten out of a out of a base oh I mean we would raid people and they would have full chests of like prop four armor and stuff and then we'd just yoink it all take it all <laughs> take it all like honestly we would have so much so that we would just blow it up we didn't even care about taking it we yeah. had so much at the time where we just get rid of it all and you throw it stuff. in lava? 
Oh, make, make, oh, we, their just, hearts we, we cry. destroy it all. Just ruin yeah. it all. So when they woke up, you know, woke up in the morning before school, all gone. They had to redo it. Oh, all. imagine those yeah. kids going to or just no, 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 no kids. Imagine those teenagers going to fucking high school, right? He's got basketball practice in the afternoon because we can't think of gamers as nerds anymore. So this time that th- this this flip had already happened, right? And you have like this 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 captain of the varsity team fucking logged in, <laughs> right? And then sees all his shit's gone. He's pissed the entire day. Like he's just spent months and months and months building this. Here here comes Symphony Ego Hazard and fucking Ice to well Ice couldn't compete, but to take all their yeah. shit. That's and crazy. Not only that, you guys on that server had competitions, like 5v5 tournaments. Oh, yeah. And so it'd be like $100 first place or whatever. And I won two of those. Uh, I, I don't remember who. I was. On, I think I was on LBX for one of them that I won. And then I was on Frost for one of them. And, and we would end up winning those. We and gave, we, I think I think Big Timer and I shoutcasted. Like, yeah, I was in one of them. There's a video and yeah. I'm in there. Yeah. Hell no, that's so crazy. Small yeah. world. Yeah, that's so crazy. Big and now time, we're talking IRL. Like what? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's, that's so, that's the internet. It's the weirdest place in the world. And what's nuts about that is that, like, I don't know where, you know, Big Timer and I have never casted. I mean, we've seen, we hung out with Foyas and we've seen casting, what it is, but we've never casted Minecraft, let alone, well, Call of Duty, let alone Minecraft. And like the moves and ender pearls and like getting people stuck on on cobwebs and then dumping lava on top of them, that yeah. shit was dope. Yeah. That was super super dope. So I was thinking of throwing a uh, a a PVP, not a PVP tournament per se, but it's a Minecraft tournament here. Mm-hmm. Um, setting up a uh, eight eight uh, eight PCs and doing a TNT run for for uh, for money. Oh, that'd be cool. Cause uh, you know Minecraft Monday, mm-hmm. I've been playing that. Um, the, well, they like stopped. The server got like hacked, and yeah. like the hackers blew it all up. Yep. But I've been playing that. Um, that's really fun. They have TNT run on there as one of the modes, and so oh, I'm trying to get back into it. You know, yeah. I'm kind of a bot now, but I'm getting back into it. No, no, no. It again. It's it's like riding a bicycle is what I learned. Um, okay, so let's fast forward a little bit. As you, as you say, you, your first upload was in 2011, and then all of a sudden. So you wanted to be a content creator from there. Yeah. So I just. I, when did you see the uptick? Uh, so that'd be H1Z1. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I basically, they had leaderboards in H1Z1, they had seasons and they had leaderboards. In the first season, I think I got like eighth place. And then the second season, I got like second. And the, like, so once I got like that eighth place out of everyone on North America, I was like, okay, like my, one of my friends was like, maybe you should, one of my Minecraft friends actually, like maybe you should try it out. Like just try streaming. It's just people want to watch. Like, I don't know. I feel like most people go into streaming now and they like look at it for like the money aspect of it. And I feel like when you go into streaming, that's just a terrible idea because it's just not going to work. Um, but so I, I just started it and then I would have like five viewers, you know, and I was like, yeah, this is awesome. I'm just having fun. Just yeah. a couple people can watch ch- type and chat every once in a while. And so then I got, I got higher on the leaderboards. I got first, like the, the season after, and then people saw that and saw that, saw me getting high kill games. And then they just started watching. So I think, um, H1Z1 kind of died out as we all know, it kind of went downhill pretty quick, but I, um, but it was still a fun game. It like kicked it off, man. No, yeah, it was it was good. I, I think I got up to like 57k followers on Twitch or something, and so I was averaging you know 500 to 1,000 viewers maybe at my peak on H1Z1, um, and then at the end of every one of my streams, I would kind of like switch over to Fortnite once it came out. And I was kind of hesitant to switch to Fortnite actually because all the hackers at the at, right at the start it was really yeah. bad. And I was like, okay, I don't want to play this game. But I saw H1Z1 was just dying. I was like, okay, I have to you know kind of like alpha up and make the switch just do it and deal with it but i was getting way less viewers like i would have like under 100 viewers and like as a content creator it's like rough to see that yeah you know it's like it's like hard but i kind of how many were you averaging on uh on h1 well at my peak of h1z1 like maybe like 500 to a thousand and then probably like three four or five hundred uh towards like when it was dying Mm -hmm. and then switching over to like getting 80 or like maybe even 60 70 at times it's like rough looking at that but i just kind of stuck through it and then um basically i started playing with turner yeah. Um. So T is like a big part of, of like me growing, and then I um a video was uploaded like Symphony like fastest editor or something. I think it has like five or six mil views now. Jesus. And like, so that that video like kind of like blew me up. Without that video, I was kind of yeah. I was just getting a couple hundred viewers, and a lot of people started tuning in more and more, and then it kind of just went off from there. That's crazy. So just to put it into perspective, because like he just said, and 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 I've always said this when when you go to do something creative for the money it's never going to work the passion's not there the passion has to be about the work that you're going to be creating not necessarily about the outcome that you're going to get from that and it took you since 2011 to 2000 what late 2018 Mm, yeah pretty much late 2018 for that to actually seven years of doing something that you loved to do just because you love to do it like not expecting anything in return and then all of a sudden something happens yeah 
and then it goes and everybody's seen that image where like there's two two images of one dude like digging for for diamonds and then one dude walking away from digging and then the, like the next 10 feet of that is just like massive diamonds mm-hmm. like you never know how close you are to success and quitting is just like never the answer maybe dialing back the amount of work that you're putting in is like the way to do it but never quitting is just not not never the the answer now do you think that as a player as a, as a this day and age player and content creator do you think that everybody should be creating content like not just here's my question if you're a random person that mm-hmm. plays video games on a daily basis but only plays video games and doesn't create content parallel with that do you think that it's a smart thing to maybe switch it over and just create just in case uh, I mean, I don't think it's a bad idea, but I think a lot of people also play video games just for fun. Just yeah. they, they come home from work or school and they just want to have fun with friends. Yeah. I don't think, I mean, I don't know. Because I feel like content creation is like, I feel like harder than some people think. Yeah. And so, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I feel like, I mean, I don't think everyone has to do it, but I think just in case, you know, yeah. just do it on the side for fun. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Yeah. At all. yeah. I, I like the way you put it because any anytime any content creator in the history of YouTube or whatever has said, content creation is really hard work. People are like, try lifting yeah, bricks. Yeah. You're just for sitting a in the chair yeah. playing video games. Like, I completely understand that perspective. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Just, yeah. I don't know. It's, no, it's it hard is. To it is. It is hard work. Not necessarily harder than anything else out there. It's just you know you can't. It's it's all relative. But it is. It is one of those things. I don't know. I just think if you're gonna be spending time after work doing something, like might as well give it a shot at something because content yeah. creation is fun after that. Mm-hmm. After all, but when you let all of the likes and all of the views and all that like affect what you're creating mm-hmm. for creation's sake, that's when you really get into that stressful moment where you're yeah. like, this isn't for me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I've seen people, you know, go nuts over the amount of viewerships that they're no longer getting. Mm-hmm. And it's gotta be it's gotta be hard, man. And because who was I think Hutch and like we were talking about um like we haven't yet seen what happens to those people that get famous enough mm-hmm. but don't or aren't able to really turn it over to where they can make a sustainable living off of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially the people that live in LA, like, holy shit, like, how do you make a living on that? No, yeah. here's the thing. Imagine getting 500,000 subs on YouTube, right? But for some reason, demonetization happens and you're just not able to do that. But you're famous enough to no matter what job you get anywhere in the world, you're still gonna be recognized, mm-hmm. right? And as, a, and, as a, and as a content creator that has that sort of that sort of gravitas, that sort of uh, attraction to people and people follow you, that's gotta do something to you psychologically because you you see yourself as this famous person but you have to work a regular job to make ends meet and everybody that's going there is seeing you doing that, then they really get a, a, a slap of reality, right? Yeah. That says, you know, it's, it's not all glamor. Yeah, you know, with content creation, you, just, you never know how long it's gonna last or like when it's gonna stop. So it's like, I don't know, definitely it's kind of stressful on that aspect, but it's, I don't know, just yeah. having fun with it. I've been doing this since 2008, bro. Yeah, you've been around a minute. A uh, long ass yeah. minute. I remember watching you way back. I don't know, that's just crazy. We were talking about it before the podcast, but I would watch you guys play The Hunting mm-hmm. um, way back with Syndicate. All you, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like up, uh, Hunting or Optic. Hunting, hunting Optic, optic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, You guys would play that way back. And I was telling him before, I just moved out to the country like 12 acres, um, 30 gigabytes of internet for that. That's all we satellite could do. internet. Satellite internet. Right. And oh, actually, before that, I would play COD, you know, and then we we moved there. Yeah. I, I red bar connection. If I would go on like speedtest.net just to do the the ping on there, it was 700 ping. So I there was no chance I could play. No, I didn't know what to do. All I did was play video games every day, and then next thing you know, I'm like out in the country. I can't I can't play Were you at all. Mad? Oh, I was I was I was I was triggered. I could I didn't know what to do. And the the school that you like there was no like school that you could go i guess school don't allow you to play video games oh right? no not at all that was dude so, but yeah um so i'd watch you guys and after midnight every night you would have unlimited internet so i would just stay up after midnight you know parents probably were too happy with that I was pretty young and then yeah. i'd watch you guys play um Damn. on that on that server that's kind of what got me into the minecraft and like the whole optocraft thing you so. blink once and like 10 years go by like yeah. you don't i don't even know how i got here every single time i sit here doing a podcast talking i'm like I get paid to do this podcast. That's the wildest shit in the world yeah. to me. Like a lot, like I've I've been doing this for a very very long time, for a very long time. 
And every single day, I'm just mind boggled that I get to like this. I, well, I was having a meeting with somebody, and I complete. I, I'm a space cadet sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like my ADHD, which I don't know if that's a thing. Like all of a sudden, just like takes me on this journey. You yeah. know, people might be talking. The second that I'm done with a meeting, mentally, I'm done with that meeting. Yeah, and there might be a half hour left, according to them. But I was sitting here and I was looking around, and I'm like. I got three couches. Those three couches are mine, you know, like, yeah. and they're in a room that is all mine that I created. Mm-hmm. And that to me is the wildest shit ever. Never in my life did I think that this would be a thing. No, I, I think about it all the time. Like I, I always look at something I'm just like, how is this a thing? I don't understand how it happened. Cause like, obviously people say there's like hard work involved, whatever I like, grinded through it. But it's like, it's just weird. Like, cause there's a lot of luck involved too. I always tell people that too, yeah, if you're trying absolutely. to grow, it's a huge amount of luck. Like when I was driving here, I was watching the courage and Nate show and Brooke was on there and like, they were kind of explaining how, um, everyone gets like their starting point and you like, you get lucky off that and you just kind of have to go with it. Like I got lucky with the, the YouTube video coming out for the editing thing and then playing with Turner every day. Like we play like every day. And so like, I kind of just got lucky with that and then took it from there. Like, and now I look at it, I'm just like, how did this happen? I literally was playing Minecraft for fun on Optocraft and then now I'm just like streaming to thousands of people I don't know it's, it's just weird to look at every single day it is so weird yeah. I was talking to Jack uh, just this past this past week and I'm like dude we need to do a podcast because what has happened to you in the last year is it's needs to yeah. be studied he's doing huge things like quick too yeah he just came out boom now he's like two point something mils or he's just about to hit two mil on yeah. youtube just signed that deal with youtube like that's that's wild yeah i mean look he started what i mean i don't know when he started uploading youtube but yeah. i've been doing this since 2008 and i still don't have a one million gold button <laughs> plaque you know what i'm saying think about that that's 10 hey, I don't years have one either it's all right yeah, it's no right. it's cool that you're laughing at me um <laughs> 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 no it's crazy though but you know i'm I'm here i'm, I'm not giving up on yeah. the fact you know what i'm saying like i mm-hmm. I, I don't it's like I, how do i relate this to to just to to what for example i, I love fishing i mm-hmm. love bass fishing specifically there's this thing called the double digit club you know not a lot of people have been able to catch a 10 pound bass or above a 10 pound bass mm-hmm. or above and i've always said that i don't want to catch my first double digit fish until i'm well into my 50s Mm -hmm. because at that point it's like what else you like you can chase for a second one and a third one and all that but it's that one thing that you need to accomplish in order to do something Mm -hmm. that 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 was that and getting a million subs is like one of my life goals like i i cannot wait to do that and we have one there for uh for for optic but that was a collaborative effort Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and yeah like taking two years off doesn't help and this that and the other but it's it's something that i'm striving for you know what i'm saying and i i can't like, what am I going to do once I hit a million on that? How, like, how many are now? Uh, 900 and 800. 890. 890. Nice. So 110. Super yeah. I, I feel like having a goal that you're working towards is like super good. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's one thing I struggle with too. I need to set like more goals and push myself to hit those so that I'm like more motivated for sure. Yeah. And and again, like I'm afraid as to what happens once I get there. Like mm. once I accomplish that and once You're like, I- what's next? Like, yeah, like yeah. what do I do next? Because I can't stop just doing there. I mean, I can't start a second channel. Mm-hmm. Like I don't have the time to do that. So I don't know. I, I think I've, I've been keeping myself busy enough to be able to to, to do something. Let me uh, let me give the, the sponsors a quick shout out. Muggsy Jeans are the most comfortable jeans ever made that's no exaggeration muggsies are real jeans that literally feel as comfortable as sweatpants but they look like jeans and i mean that when i travel i am amazed at the stretchy fabric and uh, and stylish look because they're not too baggy and they're not too tight and that's perfect for somebody like me okay and the magic is in muggsy proprietary fabrics uh, which include a blend of high-tech materials that make these jeans mind-blowingly soft and flexible and if you want comfortable jeans that look good muggsy jeans are for you the guys at muggsy are offering you 100 percent guarantee that you'll enjoy them and they are giving you free shipping uh, across the entire United States. So your comfort, again, is 100% guaranteed. Do your legs a favor. Grab your own pair of jeans that are sweeping the nation by heading to Muggsy.com and use code HEX, H3CZ, for 10% off. Again, that's M-U-G-S-Y.com using code HEX, H3CZ, to get 10% off. One more time for the raptors in the back. Head over to Muggsy.com forward slash nothing. It's just Muggsy.com and use code H3CZ for 10% off now a second time in a row lately these guys have been supporting the podcast so much that i cannot tell you how much i appreciate it not only do i use doordash but you know they also support me which is super good they're kind of double double sponsoring me you know if you if you think about it because i don't have to leave the house and go get food because they literally just come to you um 
So whether you've had a long day at work, tough day at school, you're streaming, you're content create, you're doing whatever it is that you do and you don't have time to go get your own food, it's okay. Let food come to you with DoorDash. Okay, if you're in your sweatpants and you're you're sick of microwave leftovers, frozen pizza, enter DoorDash for restaurant quality food with a living room dress code. I love that. Um you know, pretty much you go to DoorDash uh, and download the application. DoorDash connects you to your favorite restaurants in your city. Okay. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want to eat, and your food will be delivered to you wherever you are. Whether it's the office at home and whether you live in a house, in an apartment, in a condo, out in the wild, it doesn't matter. They'll come to you. Not only is your favorite pizza joint already on DoorDash, but there are over 340 thousand restaurants in 3300 cities so you might find a new favorite too with door-to-door delivery in all 50 states and canada order from your local go-to's or choose from your favorite national restaurants like chipotle wendy's chick-fil-a and the cheesecake factory that's the hot wings from there delicious don't worry about dinner let dinner come to you with doordash right now our listeners can get five dollars off their first order of fifteen dollars or more if you order anything less than fifteen dollars i cannot trust you live a little eat something order something fifteen dollars or more to get that five dollars off your first uh order when you download the doordash app and enter promo code eavesdrop that's five dollars off your first order when you download the doordash application from the app store and enter promo code eavesdrop that's e-a-v-e-s-d-r-o-p don't forget that's promo code eavesdrop for five dollars off your first order from DoorDash. I'm going to say it one more time just in case you guys didn't hear it. Get $5 off your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code Eves. Drop back to the Hex Quarters. So, yeah, huge shout out to them. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, where were we? So, anyway, goals. So, you're, how many, how many uh, subs are you at on YouTube now? Uh, so, on YouTube, I have like 600. And, like, so I was actually talking to Jack about this yesterday when we were playing COD. Mm-hmm. He was saying I'd probably have like like almost 1.5 or over 1 million if I would have like actually paid attention and uploaded. I feel like I definitely lost like a huge opportunity by not paying attention to my YouTube and working on it more yeah. when I like blew up or whatever. Definitely kind of regret that now looking back. But yeah, so right now I have 600, but now I'm just going to try to like do more uh, yeah. IRL stuff. Uh, and then like just grow and grow. Yeah, no, that's good. I mean, look, for, Fortnite has seen a slight decline, mm-hmm. but pe- people make this like massive deal about it when it's like it's not a massive deal. I mean, yeah. it's it's a decline, but in comparison to all the other games, it's, so it's just, still a massive yeah. fucking game. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just you can't go anywhere. My my uh, my godsons, my nieces, my nephews, like everybody loves Fortnite, mm-hmm. right? They don't give a shit about their uncle. They want to talk to <laughs> Uncle Jack. The, only, the, all the, the cool thing about their uncle Hector is the fact that he's friends with Jack. That's it. <laughs> I was at a I was at a basketball game. I was sitting for, uh, um I was, I was sitting uh, half court court side mm-hmm. at the Mavs game. It was when the Seventy Sixers came by, and uh and I was chopping it up with uh with Ben Simmons. That's my boy. We were just talking, right? Mm-hmm. And there was a, a kid that we went with. Shout out to Verbal, by the way. He's the one that that always invites me to the tickets. But his his uh his nephew. He's got to be like 12 years old, right? And he's there, and I'm, and I'm like, yeah, this is Ben Simmons. You know, introduce him. Nothing. He's, the kid's like, oh, cool, cool, cool. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I get a FaceTime call from Fwiz. I pick up, and it's Fwiz, Nate and Courage. And then we're talking. <laughs> Jack grabs the phone and puts his face on it. The kid lights up. He's like, oh, is that is that Courage? <laughs> yeah, no bullshit. Like, he dropped, he dropped everything. Didn't care that there was, like, a game going on and that who was playing. All eyes on Jack. <laughs> All eyes on Jack. And I'm like, this is crazy. We went to dinner once. Uh, it was Jack. Were you there? You were there, right? Jack, Matt, uh, Seth, and TB. And I've been with, with Seth for, you know, for a long-ass time. And I've seen that sort of stardom where anywhere we go, he gets stopped and, you know, yeah. you know whatever. These two kids, an eight-year-old and a five-year-old, just are, one of them is crying. He was there for his birthday, but he starts crying when he saw Jack. Yeah, and he didn't know who Seth was, so obviously he's not gonna know who I am. You yeah. know, I'm a fucking forty-year-old <laughs> dude. I'm like, by the time he gets to be forty, I'm probably gonna be dead. You know what I'm saying? If you think about it, and I was just like, at that moment in time, I'm like, I'm like, this is what the future is gonna look like. It's just gonna be full of these, these. I mean, I mean, the future's now. These personalities that are just like have transcended anything and everything that has ever been created on on uh, on traditional American media, whether or global media, whether mm-hmm. it's movies uh, or whatever. And I was just like, mind boggled by it. And I'm like, I'm like, this is this is going places. Yeah. Like, 
10 years into it, I was still saying this is going places. I, I've been noticed a lot in public, like just walking around. And like to this day, after all this time, I still, every single time it happens, I get like hyped up. I don't know. It's just super yeah. awesome. Like they'll be like, oh, symphony. And I, I just, I don't know. It feels really weird even after like it happening so many times. I don't know. It's you just walk super away awesome. like, yeah. I, I just walk popular. around. I'm just like, that's just, that's just wild how it's a thing. Yeah. I don't hell know. yeah. That's cool. That's the sort of thing that you never want to get used to. You no, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like as much as, as as often as it happens, you still have to walk away with with a smile, saying that you know that that you know somebody that you you've never met. Yeah, uh, for I, sure. I love the, it. I yeah. just, it's one so of the awesome. best things about about what we do is that. Yeah. Just having that many friends that we've never met. Before yeah. Like TwitchCon, I did like meet and greets. Like I don't know, it's just super awesome meeting people. Just, yeah. Uh, you, your audience like super young. Uh, honestly, not as young as you would think. I feel like, but. At the same time, yeah, there's a lot of young people yeah. for sure. That's Fortnite, but there's also like a lot of like average age, like because I think if you look at my analytics on like Insta, it's like 18 to 24 is like yeah. it's higher than all the other yeah, ones. Yeah, so yeah. it's like it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, no, like I said, it's it's it. it people grow up. I mean, you grew up with it, right? Mm -hmm. You you grew up watching us. You grew up yeah. watching you know Nate Shot, whatever. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So that was that weird. Like growing up watching Nate Shot. You know, did you? Because you, obviously, they, no. Yeah, you know, like when you guys were back in the house. Yeah. That all of you guys in the house, yeah. I watched those. Like, I yeah. So was it weird having to you know going to go stay at his house it's and hang really out? It's really weird. Like I don't know. I like I sat I sat there and watched those people all the time, and then now I'm talking to them. I don't know. It's super weird. I because yeah. I did a Madden ad in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, with, with Matt him, yeah. and I, I told Matt I was like it's just wild how I used to watch you and then here we are playing Madden for an yeah. ad like I don't know it's that's just, so it's crazy. Crazy. getting paid like yeah crazy paid yeah it's crazy that's super good so um you've uh you've placed uh you said uh seventh what is it? sixth and seventh for the pro amps I've played in two pro amps I didn't play in the first one but I played in the second and third okay when when's uh what what is what has that been like like obviously I have my my own particular views on esports and and you know the RNG for for Fortnite mm -hmm. I think that obviously skill is uh, I think Fortnite takes the insane amount of skill that it takes to build in Fortnite is just insanity to me. Mm -hmm. And then shoot other people while you're doing that to defend against all that. So obviously I give it the utmost respect that any uh, video game could ever. It's just insane. Um, where, where do you think esports is in Fortnite as it stands today? So with Fortnite, it's weird, right? I feel like, you know, one person can win a tourney. The next tourney, they don't even qualify. And so I feel like it's really inconsist inconsistent, but at the same time, like you always see like the, a, a lot of the same people at the top. So I don't know. It's hard, especially now because it's squads. Like I don't really like squads. So I haven't really been playing the FNCS just because I don't really have fun doing that. I'd rather just stream and not sit there and scrim every day. But like they bring back, du I like duos and trios a lot more in squads. I just think squads suck. I do not enjoy it at all. I hate it. Too many people. Um, just too just, convoluted. Yeah, just too many people. I don't know. It's just not as fun for me. I just don't enjoy it as much. So. I'm kind of just waiting for duos to come back. Hopefully, I made a tweet this morning actually for it. I yeah, like, I was like, "Give us duos back! Come on." Who's uh, who's your your teammate? Uh, I don't have one right now. I'd have to look. If you could but... pick one. Oh, if I could pick one, ah, uh, shoot, I, I don't know. There's a lot. Don't of good say ones. Brooke. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get carried too bad, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, but um, I don't know. It's hard because. There's a lot of good ones, but like they probably don't want to play with me. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> There's a lot of really good ones, but they'd be like, "Oh, someone's playing me." Like I could trash. Who did you play with so last time? Like, uh, I played with a guy named Branches um, for the for the World Cup duos. Um, but I don't know. I don't know who I'd play with this time. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, there's there's <clears throat> obviously the 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 whole Jarvis situation. Yeah. I, I don't know the I don't know the kid. Uh, I know his brother. His brother used to be my teammate mm -hmm. uh, way back when. Uh, super super good dude, but what was the situation exactly? Because I know that that, that he made a video about aimbot or mm -hmm. something along those lines, and yeah. that's as far as I got into it. Yeah, so I guess basically he was using aimbot in like public games, and he was just killing people. And like, okay, so obviously you know everyone wants to know what each content creator's opinion is on it, and I kind of feel like it's a terrible situation because like he's such a good content creator, such a good like pro player, and he's like got a lot of potential. But if you unban him. Then it's like just this huge thing. And so it's one of those things where you can't really unban him, but like you want him to be unbanned, I feel yeah. like. So like it's kind of just a t really bad situation where like I wish he was unbanned, but it's like if you do unban him, it's like everyone's going to freak out. And then I don't, so, so, it's so like, help me understand the situation. He he had a mod in there that gave him aimbot, yeah. but he was only using it in lobbies. What in, do you mean? in public oh, lobbies. Yeah, I think he wasn't using it in competitive or anything, but he was still using it in like pubs, killing people. He, he was using it in pubs. Yeah. Now, 
while he was doing this, was he creating like a piece of content? And was he teaching people how to cheat or what um, was it? No, so in his video, he kind of explained it like, guys, never cheat. You're going to get banned. And I think the main thing was he was on an alt account. And so I think he assumed he was only going to get banned on that alt. He's like, oh, I'm just going to upload this video, get a ton of views, probably got like 2 million views. Um, I'm just going to get this account banned and then I'll go back on my main one. But then they banned his main one. Yeah. And so now he can't play at all, yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like, I don't know. Especially when Too you harsh? What do you think? See, it's hard to say because uh, since he's a content creator, it's like, you know, he'll never do it again. Yeah. He was just doing it for content. That's the only reason he did it was strictly for the YouTube video and then he was done. Yeah. So it's like, it's a really hard, I don't know. It's, it's definitely harsh, but it's like. Yeah, because you, you can't, you can't, well, you can't go back. Oh, I don't, I don't this, know. See, that's the thing. I yeah. never know what to say. I I'm can like, argue both sides of the thing. Yeah, 100%. Like, I feel bad and like, it would be cool if he's unbanned, but then if he gets unbanned, then. It encourages other people exactly. to be like, well, yeah, it so happened like, to him. I think that there should be like a, 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 is there a set of rules that says, in terms of use, that says, if you get caught cheating in this, you're out forever. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's something in there. Anything like cheating is like, I mean, I think it's But didn't for, two other people cheat? And, and So when for, for the World Cup, it was two players, and that was basically people, they had people land on them, or supposedly had people land on them, and then they killed them for like a free point or two. So it's like, in my opinion, way different than like actually, you know, kind of like altering the files and like installing aimbot. But yeah, because you're just having someone land on you and you're just killing them. But that's, that's still that's the, yeah. one's for money. The other one's yeah. for pubs and True. also for money because yeah, you you're making to, money off of the of the content. Yeah, think about it. One's for 50k and one's not. <laughs> so yeah, like, but that that one video that he made that got him two million views. If it got two million views or yeah. whatever, if it went viral, that can, in the end put them in a position to really make millions you sure. know what i'm saying so sure. i don't know I, I i don't know how i feel about it i, I yeah. hear I, keep, I continue to hear people talking about cheating is wrong and if you're cheating in a competitive setting you should be banned forever yeah so never yeah. play never play this game yeah. i'm with that 100 mm -hmm. but if you're doing it in a content creation setting not for money and whatever you still you know yeah i don't know see i'm kind of both sides I'm like i feel bad and like if he got on band i wouldn't be mad I, I wouldn't be mad i feel like a lot of people would be mad but i, just, I wouldn't mind but i don't know it's just weird because when you're that's like his whole life you know just uploading fortnite every single day like so it's, it's strange a couple of years a couple of year ban like uh give him i don't know i don't know how i feel about it yeah and it's a, it's it's one of those things yes if you're cheating you know, for example d treats mm -hmm. uh he used to be my teammate he played in a, in a world cup in a world cup in a, in a frat cup he had it he had hardline a hardline mod which was an extra an extra perk mm -hmm. hardline allowed you to get kill streaks faster mm -hmm. and quicker now in this tournament since it was a competitive setting call of duty obviously there was no kill streaks at that time modern warfare 2. Mm -hmm. so it didn't really affect the game but the fact was that he was cheating he did have a mod and it was there yeah. so he got the queued even though it didn't affect the integrity of the game because mm -hmm. that perk disallowed it but the fact that he did that yeah the fact that he went out and do that out of curiosity mm -hmm. in, in the early days optic had a, a, a modding team it was an, an optic optic mods or something where I was just like I saw it as an explore, exploratory thing because exploratory, yeah, whatever. We wanted I wanted to see like what sort of content we could create. At one point or another, I was on uh, what was that long map, the the super wide map that had a bunker in the middle in Modern Warfare Two. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's like desert is, um, and there was a graveyard all the way in the back. Anyway, that map. A Afghan? No, I don't no, know. Uh, no it, I don't the know. other one. Anyway, that that map. We, I was. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, okay, but you yeah. know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Yeah. So, it's got the helicopter on one side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in that map, we were uh, fighter jets or the or that kill streak fighter jet. Mm -hmm. So your character was a fighter jet. Yeah. And that was a video that could have gone viral and it should have gone viral, but we just never uploaded because we we're like, well, this is, this is kind of cheating and this yeah. is like over the top. But it was since it was in a competitive setting, I thought that it would be good to to have that mod mm -hmm. where you are a plane and not necessarily a, a thing. And we had that, and we had uh, the the ladders, the invisible ladders, where you can get out of the map, and like we had a whole bunch of cool stuff. But I ended up canceling and, and just like mm -hmm. throwing it all away because it was modding a game, and nobody wants to get banned, yeah. you know, especially because it's your job, your livelihood. So I didn't want to risk it. But you know, in, in situations like that, where it's for educational purposes, if mm -hmm. that's the case, for cool thing. I mean, look at Gary's mod. Yeah. Right. I mean, look at how Counter Strike came to be. Like that was a mod of a different game. Yeah. So I don't know how I feel. I, I just it, wish. Oh, sorry. Holds he. Holds he. Uh, 
17, 18. He might have just turned 18. I'm not <sighs> sure. So he's pretty young. But like, I just wish someone would have been there to tell him, like, oh, this is a bad idea. Like, yeah. his brother, the person editing the video, I don't know, just someone to tell him. Because then, because I, I feel like he went in, just had no no clue that it was yeah. going to happen. Obviously, otherwise he wouldn't have done it. Yeah, and, I, and I saw somebody post that he had three chances to not do that. One, when he was installing the mod, he should have told himself, don't do this. Mm -hmm. Two, while he was editing the video and said, maybe I shouldn't do this. And then the third, when he hit upload to go do that. So three chances yeah. he had to back up from it and do that. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I feel. I feel I feel I feel bad though because he was super young, man. And yeah. who hasn't done a lot of stupid shit, you know? Like luckily the only time I ever got arrested if the, I wasn't even arrested, the only time I ever got picked up by the cops for spray painting graffiti on under a bridge mm -hmm. where no 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 public saw it. It didn't affect anyone. I mean, obviously we the the state or whatever because they put it together, but I got arrested. It was by by this cop that we used to, Mr. Porziki, Officer Porziki, I think mm -hmm. was his name. We played basketball with him, and he's like, "What the fuck, Rodriguez?" <laughs> so luckily, that happened, and it happened with somebody that I knew that I got off easy, and it didn't ruin my life. Because mm -hmm. if if they would have given me uh, a felony or whatever, I don't even know if that's a thing. Or if I would have gone to jail, if I would have been a smudge on my record, yeah. then I would have been able to get a bank job mm -hmm. because it's corporate, and I would have been able to go the career that I had up until content creation. So, like, a lot of people do a lot of stupid shit when they're young. It's what happens, and it's not. It's no excuse, but we do. As mm -hmm. humans, we do. I mean, think about way back in the day. People used to literally kill each other the second that they came to age for mating purposes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, think about that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if if the harsh punishment of a lifetime ban is is good. If you think about it, people that, that are underage that get arrested with a sack of weed, mm -hmm. that falls off their record once they turn 18 and they're able to go into the workforce and, and that, it doesn't affect that. Yeah. So I think, I think that they should give it a second consideration to it yeah. and ban him until he's of age. And yeah. Ban him until he's 21 or something. See, but like, a lifetime ban? If, if he did get un unbanned, I personally wouldn't mind. Like I was saying, I, I think it'd be fine. I don't know. Because I think he only thought his main account, that alt account was going to get banned. He's going to come right back on his main account. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done it. So... I wouldn't mind an unban. You but. get caught cheating when you're playing for money and other people are giving their fucking best, then yeah. fuck you. Yeah, it's different, true. Get out. For pubs, it's different. You know? yeah. But it's a pub. Mm -hmm. So it's a pub and you're young. A lifetime ban, I say no. Bring that shit back. Give them a, a, a two-year ban, if anything. Mm -hmm. Because think about, should everybody else ban him too because he did that? Or was it because of that game? Because obviously in his in his mind, I mean, actually, let's not go down that route. I was going to be like, well, should he never be allowed to play Call of Duty? Should he never be allowed to play like any other competitive sport? No Apex, none of that? Just because he cheated in none of the game? I mean, if you're going down that route, it does make, just makes no sense to me. I mm -hmm. hope uh, young Jarvis gets a little bit of justice. Yeah, and, that'd and be cool. Because life ban, get the fuck out of here. Anyway... Dude, what uh, what where do you see this thing going for Fortnite? Because a lot uh, of things need to happen. Season two just came out. Mm -hmm. Is that as exciting as it was, or do you miss the? Um, I don't think season two is a bad season. But I was I was playing with DK yesterday, and we were talking about this. I think like I feel like it's missing something. Like I don't wake up I'm like can't wait to get on Fortnite. You know, I don't have that feeling right now. So I, I don't think it's a bad season by any means. I think they did really good on like the map and stuff. Um, but I don't know. It's. I don't know how long it'll last or anything. I'm not sure. Really? It's a good question. Do you, do you find what, what? What is it? What is it that you no longer see in Fortnite that you did? Hmm. I mean, see, that's a hard question because I feel like I don't know. I feel like one thing, especially stream snipers. Oh my! If you stream that game, it's literally just stream snipers nonstop. That's one problem. It makes yeah. it really unenjoyable. Like even yesterday, I was trying to play Arena. Every single game, I just get stream snipe, and so that makes it really hard to play and enjoy. Um, for sure. Um. But I don't know. Like, I think it, it's a really good game, but I feel like, I don't know, it's been two, three years. I feel like when you play the same game over and over and over again every single day, it just... Does it? I've been playing Call of Duty since 2006, <sighs> bro. I know, but like, uh, I don't know. They always have like different guns. I feel like different maps. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, but it's still the same thing. I mean, look yeah, at Counter-Strike. Look how long Counter-Strike's been around yeah. for. People play basketball every single day just because that's their sport that they choose to play. True. Every single day. And then when people say shit like, well, why would you watch somebody play video games when you can play? I was like, why the fuck are you watching NFL, motherfucker? Get your ass off that couch yeah. and go play football. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, always, I always thought to myself that if, if, if I have the same group of 
people that I have with me. So if it's Hutch and Diesel and, and Fuez playing with me every single day, Call of Duty, and it's competitive, mm-hmm. there's no way that I ever get off of that game. That's just that's just my thing. So that's, I think one thing with this season, there's no movement. The only movement, you have a boat. So there's no launch pads, shock waves, impulses, bouncers, none of that. All of it's gone. That's boring. So it makes like pubs especially just really hard. You guys, you want to go fight people. You want to go, you want to kill a guy, boom, next person. Go, yeah, go, yeah, go. Yeah. But you're just stuck there. You're just it's running for like five more map. minutes. Yeah, it's a really big map. Yeah. And so I think that definitely like slows it down and makes it boring. I'll have, I'll, I'll loot like two buildings and there'll be like 30 people alive. And then, and then I'm just stuck finding no one. The yeah. zone's still massive. Yeah. The zone's yeah. not even yeah. touching the map yet. Yeah. And so I'm just running around. I think Apex did a really good job at at making it sure that it was like uh, all, you know, action packed every five, at least five minutes. Yeah. But I, I've been in Fortnite where it's just like you're just running your ass off. Yeah. I think that's a major issue right now is just trying to find people and actually so do So no launch pads? What the Nothing. fuck? Why? That's like one of the most interesting thing that any... That, that. Yeah. They got rid of all of it. There's a boat. That's it. it and it's... They're, <laughs> That makes no sense. One thing me. I do like, though, they, they, they changed the loot pool. So before you'd open a chest, you could get 80,000 different things. They had so many items. This season, they removed, like, oh, I don't know, like 20-something items. They I don't know how many, but they removed a lot. And so now it's like, now you pretty much, there's like, you're kind of guaranteed like a shotgun, an SMG, an AR, whatever, which is kind of nice because I was talking, did you ever play H1Z1? Yes. Yeah, I was talking to Jack about that. You would go in a house, boom, you get you get a shotgun, you get an AR, you get your armor, all like pretty much in one building. Mm-hmm. And I think that like makes it more fun. Just yeah, it's like more fast paced and yeah and stuff. Yeah. Well, it does. I mean, again, it, it'll always be the 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 RNG that would put put it in the is it is it truly competitive? Yeah, you know? RNG is a major major issue, and like I feel like you can't get rid of it. But like one game, especially now, there's no movement. If you're north zone, if you're north and the zone closes and then you get zone, the people south, I mean, they're at a huge disadvantage if you get zone. So it's like, yeah. there's that. And then if you get, I mean, you can loot a ton of chests and then just have no shield. Yeah. Like you, there's that chance and then yeah. you're just screwed. There's nothing yeah. you can do. I don't know. Really it's, it's always going to be one of those things where I guess we're going to see in two to three years where it really, you know, how it went wrong, where it went wrong or yeah. where the successes came from. Because there's one thing that's undeniable. The fact that Fortnite has done something that nobody else has done. Yeah. The ability to have like these sort of events that happen within the game that people are allowed to be a part of mm-hmm. and to spectate in game. That to me is like one of the most genius shit that could have ever, ever, ever happened. Uh, and, and that to me is like something that will always keep them above and beyond uh, that. And I always think I'm like, who the fuck did they? Is it Steven Spielberg who they hired to have these like <laughs> crazy ass storylines for for this thing? Yeah, that's uh, that's one thing they do do cool though. Like just like obviously the black hole thing was kind of weird for multiple days, mm-hmm. but like they just they always have something going, like changing the map in some sort of way, which is I think that like spices it up a little bit, keeps it you know kind of hype. But yeah, when they when they have those little those rocks that you that you uh what are the the rocks that you find the, the make, hop rocks yeah the hop like rocks that shit was yeah, so dope that's cool yeah just so little dope. little things like that make it fun yeah man it was so so dope um, anyway so what do you got what do you got planned for the future what's your what's your goal um what's my goal I want to keep grinding every single day uh, I'm just trying to put as many hours as possible I want like I said I want to do more IRL stuff kind of like doing this podcast it's something new I've never done a podcast before uh so You're just doing, doing good. Thank you. I'm trying. Like, uh, I did an NRG video yeah. where we, like, answer Google questions. And the whole time... Where's mine? Matt. Oh. Go ahead. Keep going. Uh, the whole time, my eyes were like this. Here, I'll look at yeah, the camera. Closing? Yeah, 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 And I had no idea. Yeah, it was like that. My, my The whole time, this is me. And so I hope I'm not doing that today. I'm trying. But it's just... It's a learning process, you Is know? Optic Hex Mexican? It's the first one <laughs> for me. Who is Hex? Where's Hex from? What car does Hex drive? What happened to Hector Rodriguez? What camera does Optic Hex use? And why does Hex think that he's the best... That was the best in Call of Duty 2? Because I fucking was. <laughs> Period. Uh, so IRL stuff is a, is a big yeah, uh, think, thing of you? Yeah. Because obviously Fortnite... You know, it's only going to last so long. That's just bound to happen. Yeah. So, so uh, obviously, we're we're part of the same energy fam. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Huntsman is coming to Chicago April 4th. Are you going to come and support? On April 4th, Chicago? It's going to be really cold, but it's going to be the fir- the opening event. Potentially. I like the word potentially. I use that all the time. Yeah. It's just like, Do you like traveling? Uh, Actually, yeah. So, like... Uh, I'm dating Brooke, you yeah. know, and so I have to, you know, I travel all the time, like every couple of weeks. And beforehand, I like was not about it at all. I did not want to do it. I hated it. Yeah. And now I'm kind of just like, yeah, it's really fun. Like I'm, we we just went to Disneyland. I said that multiple times. But like, I'm ready to go on our next trip. Where I'm like, Brooke, where are we going next? I'm, yeah. I'm ready. Like it's really yeah, fun. I, I'm 
I used to hate traveling. Then I like traveling, mm-hmm. and now I'm at the point where I'm just like, I just want to be at the hex quarters or yeah. my house. Well, you know the last mean? couple of trips, my flights have been delayed. One of them was canceled. Yeah, I, my flight was delayed a couple hours, and then they ended up canceling it. Then I flew. I was at LA. Then I flew to San Francisco to try to come back home. Then that one got delayed once I got there, and it's just like so sometimes it's kind of kind of rough. But yeah, I, it's really fun. I enjoy it. It's not bad. Oh, it's not. It's not my thing. No, I don't know. I, I just I just watch a show on, on the phone on the way there. And yeah. Well, look, I'm king uh, in flight entertainment. Yeah. Like I have an I, I have an iPad and I dump as much stuff that I would want to watch on a flight if mm-hmm. I'm awake. But my my number one goal is to fall asleep. Yeah. On the plane. But aside from that, I am covered. I have I have an iPad and I have movies. I have shows. Jersey Shore Family Vacation season two is what I was watching on the way here. Yeah. So I've kind of been <laughs> like I don't know if you know this. Like I don't know if you've watched my stream, but I've kind of been like really sheltered my whole life. Like yeah. no experiences at all, so I haven't really watched many things. So I'm kind of like, you know, what's your favorite show? Um, Game of Thrones. Did you watch Game of Thrones? I'm watching that right now. Actually, okay. what so, season are you in? Uh, season one. Just started it. Oh my but like, God. I've just started The Office. Like yeah. all these things, I'm just starting them. And like, yeah, it's so like I don't know if you know this, but like, literally, I throughout high school, I had like no friends. Like I could add friends, but I just all I did was play video games. Yeah. So I didn't hang out with anyone. I've never had a girlfriend. Like never done anything. And so now, just these last couple months, I'm like, you know, You're trying to get all. out there. I'm doing it all. I'm trying to learn. You know. Yeah. So That's just good, man. Life. Yeah. That's good. Well, look, video games is, uh, aren't necessarily a bad thing, but you know, a healthy balance of being able to go out. Do you play any sports? Uh, I played a lot of soccer. I don't okay. now, but beforehand, I, yeah. I played a lot okay, of soccer. Cool. So, like stuff like that is always going to be yeah. beneficial. A lot of people talk shit about people that play like video games, yeah. but they don't see the other shit that they do on yeah. the side. Um, if you guys are like in high school right now and have like no friends, like because all you want to do is play video games, it's worth it to get friends. Can yeah. confirm. <laughs> yeah, can it's, confirm. Yeah, can confirm. It's, it'll be worth it. It's yeah, I, I I have the same friends that I've had since junior high school. Yeah, like, like looking back, I wish like you know I would actually hang out with people. Yeah, but go to high school parties and yeah, all that just stuff. Have fun, but yeah. Hey, look, it's out. never too late. You're doing it now. Yeah, Who doing cares? it now. Got lucky. Yeah, would so. you trade what you have going on now to have fucking friends from high school that no you probably chance. you would not be friends with now no, anyway? No chance. No chance. No. It, no. it, it worked out pretty well. Yeah, regret Got, is yeah. for uh, weak people. Okay. I don't I don't <laughs> like saying the word pussy anymore. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, yo, dude, thank you, thank you for stopping by. I do, I do appreciate it. Hopefully, this won't be the last one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really hope that you come out to uh, to see the Huntsman, support the Huntsman. So it's mm-hmm. gonna be a home opener. It's gonna be sick. We just looked at a graph of where our ticket sales came from. Mm-hmm. They're all over the country and all like everywhere. There's some people coming from Puerto Rico. Can't That's... wait to meet y'all. Can't wait to meet. As I said, if you come from overseas, mm-hmm. if you come to the Huntsman home opener from overseas, I will personally give you a tour. Matt's gonna take down your names. I'm <laughs> do, yeah. do the hard work, and I'll just be the one walking around and, and awesome. showing you like the where the players play and all that. Yeah. I can't. I can't guarantee that that Seth will give you a hug or <laughs> or uh, or Arcides, but I'll definitely make them wave at you when we walk past their locker room because it's gonna be sick. Yeah. Um, any closing comments? Uh, no, I just wanna say I appreciate you having me on this office. Obviously, they can't see it, but it's nuts. All this stuff, just huge setups in here. Oh, it's super nice. It looks really good. Thank you. But, I yeah. pride. I have so much pride in it. I'm glad I could come on here. You know, first time doing a podcast. Never really done anything. So yeah, you killed it, dude. Hope it wasn't too bad. No, but, no, no. Okay, you should. Okay. Matt, how was it? Good. Yeah. All right, I always, always ask Matt. He's the he's the the measure of cool. Brother, thank you so much. I appreciate you. This won't be the last one. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, huge shout out to uh, DoorDash and Muggsy jeans. I am not wearing them today, but I did wear them the other day, and they are the most comfortable jeans I ever wore. So thank you again. DoorDash, I literally just used it yesterday. I'll show you right now. I ordered uh, spicy soup from uh, Korean barbecue, sundubu, uh, with beef, and I also ordered, um, I think, orange chicken from somewhere else. Just some weirdo. What would we what, do without ordering food? <laughs> what so would we nice. do without DoorDash? That's it's a so good, nice. good question. So anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs>